when I became an HHMI investigator, it was huge for me and it was huge. I think it was great for the field of microbiology, of bacteriology, because it put this Howard Hughes brand on bacteriology as fundamental science that is going to be first relevant and good for human health. And so my whole field benefited when I became a Howard Hughes investigator. I work on bacteria, which are these ancient primitive organisms, and they're all single cells. And uh, we've actually known about bacteria for 400 years, and they've always been thought to live these asocial reclusive lives. They divide in half and do whatever they want. And what my gang has shown is that, in fact, they have this social mode, which is that they make and release chemicals that allow them to count one another in the environment. And when they recognize there's lots of cells, they all do things in unison. And so we think this is the invention of multicellularity on the earth. When I made this leap into being an HHMI investigator, it changed the level that we were doing science at. The limitation now is our imaginations. It gives you perspective about your work. It gives you ideas for new experiments. It gives you an opportunity to find people you might collaborate with. And then it just gives you um, this knowledge of what the best science in the world is. And, and that's amazing. My ability to be spending time you know, being a scientist again you know, thinking hard about the experiments, and then our ability to do any experiment we want has, you know, made the pace of our science incredible. In my mind, the most important traits are to be humbled by the complexity of nature, to not think you're gonna be right, but to always think you're wrong, and let nature give you the secrets instead of you imposing them on nature. So to always be willing to have a surprise and to realize that whatever problem you're working on doesn't work the way you think it should. And then of course I think that has something to do with creativity um, and like openness. We are incredibly fortunate in a civilized society to be able to do this. It's important in an advanced society for organizations to sponsor science. We are the face of science today.